Hey everyone, this is Brett from Link, and in this video, which is a another one of the kind of the development um, videos, video series um, with a, a new extension, a new CAN extension. Um, what we're going to show on this one is um, authorization of um, one of the actions. Now. Um, Within CCAN, what we can do, the things that we can do, um, we could put them into four categories, I guess. Um, and um, we can create things, we can delete things, we can get things, which is kind of like getting something to look at. And we can update, so changing something that, um, that already exists. Um, now, these actions um, all have an authorization component which are um, who can do what who can do who can delete who can add who can create that sort of thing and um, we're going to change um, the way that groups in C can um, who can create groups, we're going to change that. So by, by default, um, anyone can create a, a new group, which is a group is just a way of kind of um, grouping um, data sets together um, that are related within a, an organization. Um, so let's, um, let's get started. And it will become clearer as I kind of go through this um, this video presentation. Um, so we see that um, the Docker environment is down at the moment. So what we will do is we'll bring that up. Um, and so we build a local images first, and we're going to bring up the um, the containers. So what we're going to do. Is um, is we're going to call the iauth uh, functions interface, um, and we are going to only allow the system administrators to be able to create groups. So everyone else will not be able to create a group within CCAN, and um, by default, everyone can. So we're going to change that, and we're going to do that through the um, this new um, pigeon extension. Um, so let's wait until CCAN's up. We'll log in and um, we'll create a few things, and um, we'll see that it's how it's working without the changes to the uh, pigeon extension. And then we'll see what we cannot do after we make those changes. Okay, so so you can looks like it's up and ready. Um, let's just see if we can log in. So we'll log in as the administration user because that's the only one and user that actually exists at the moment, I think, in this environment. Um, So now, first of all, I'm going to add not a new group. I'm going to add an organization first. And um, I'm going to call that, I'm going to call this, uh, this new organization Pigeon HQ headquarters and I'm gonna upload a no I'm not gonna do that 
I'm just going to just call it, just going to have a, an organization without a without an image associated with it. Okay, so let's. So now we see that we have Pigeon HQ, which is our organization. Um, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a group, and see how we had. I'll show you back there. We had the add group button here. Now that's um. That's how we add the group. So we're going to call the the new group pigeons. And in this case, we I do have an image that we're going to use for our group. So this is our pigeons group. And um, so the next thing we do was um, we're going to um, I'm going to create a new user, and I'm not going to have I'm not this this user will not be an admin user it will be just a, like a regular user now I'll log out and I'll register um, this for this new user here um, and I'm going to call him single pigeon and His email address is spigeon at pigeon.com as password. And I'm going to upload a file for him to, to use as his image, to use as his, um, his picture. So I'm going to create that. Um, and here we have single, here he is, single pigeon. That's him. Okay, so we have a new user, we have a new group, we have a new organization. Now, um, the next thing we do is I'm going to log out of CCAN right now. Okay, so now we... Um, Let's bring the actual code base over. Oops, that. And so here's my here is my IDE, my BS code IDE, and I'm going to show you what we're going to change here. So views we don't need. Plugin we need to change. Now, okay, so what we need to do with the plugins.py file is we need to make a couple of changes. Now, we're going to uncomment the iauth functions line in this uh, pigeon plugin cut class and this is a interface that we will be using um, and so we need to uncomment that we need to uncomment this um, function get off function and that exists under off here so what else do we need to do i think we need to we do we need to import um let's change that too so now we've uncommented this line so we're actually going to import action auth and validators from the ccan x.pigeon.logic module um, I think that might be all that we need to do um, let's see so nothing else really is relevant to authorization or functions okay so now the next thing we do 
is we go to the auth.py and we want to change the get auths function. Oh, actually, first of all, what we want to do is we want to create a new um, function and it's called group create. Here it is here. And this function will be referenced from get auth functions. Um, so when this is called, it will send through um, group create. Now I need to change um, get auth functions to that. Um, yeah, that looks fine. Um, we don't need get some anymore, so I might just comment that out so I know that it's, we're not using it. Um, everything looks fine, I think. Um, actually I might need to what I might do is I think I need to um, Uh, import context and auth result. I do what's that? And okay, removed, remove unused import, remove, remove all unused imports. Okay, so I think I do. I also need to um, add this. I might save that. Let's see if so let's we'll save that now. We'll just see what because so the CCAN should re. Kind of load activate itself. Um, all right, so let's just let's just log in. And we're gonna log in a single pigeon. Okay, now, okay. Now, I've logged in a single pigeon. See, we have him up here with his, um, his little picture. Um, and if we go to groups, if we go to groups, we see that we have one group, pigeon group, but we don't have the add group button up here anymore. So we've actually, uh, change the authorization for groups so you are a, a, unable to add a new group if you're not an admin user. Um, now what I'll do now just to prove that is that I'll log out as the single 
pigeon user and I'll log back in as the admin user and if we go to groups we see that we can add a group so the button exists on the page on the group page for um, the admin user but it doesn't for the um, the non-admin user which is uh, in our case single pigeon so so we've changed the way that authorization is done for um, creating so that action creating a, a new group um, with in our new um, CCAN extension pigeon so um, I hope you found that useful um, and thanks a lot for watching.